everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I wanted to share with you this evening my currently inked pens and talk with you about a recent ink discovery that I'm really enjoying. So, um, number one, I still have my cement gray Twisby inked up with the J. Urban um, Stormy Gray. I am loving this. I know I've said that a million times, but every paper I write on with this, I have success with and it's a nice writing experience so I'm really having fun with this and having a pen and ink combination that I just don't want to change so that is remaining and then um, in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim the blue green nebula this is the one that looks different depending on the camera that's filming it as I look through my phone, it looks extremely blue. In person, it has more of a bluish green look to it. So it's super funny how that happens. But anyway, I put the Lamy, I believe it's, I think it's tourmaline. I want to call it turquoise, but I think the name is actually tourmaline. If you haven't seen these bottles, they're kind of interesting. They also have a little blotting paper on the side. It looks kind of like, um, you know, paper that a straw would come in. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. But let me show you what this looks like on a couple different papers. I I like this ever since um, I had this nib worked on at the St. Louis Pen Show. I have been much more happy with it. So I just did a little brief writing here. You can see I wrote Lamy Tourmaline. I don't know if I spelled that correctly either, but it is a beautiful ink and it flows really nicely now from this pen. This is just a Amazon, 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 <laughs> how to make Amazon sound fancy, Amazon. Um, this is just Amazon Traveler's Notebooks. And if this was my only experience with fountain pens, I would not be a fountain pen enthusiast. I It wouldn't do anything for me. But anyway, I do like to test it on a basic paper. And then here you can see how pretty that looks. It does have like a pinkish, pinkish kind of sheen to it when it dries. And then on the, I forget. Yeah, this is the Traveler's Notebook paper. It looks very bright. It had a nice feel when I was writing that. Flowy, didn't seem too dry. And then here's the Lamy Tourmaline on the Cosmo Air Light. And you possibly can see the pink shimmer to it, which is really nice. You might have been able to guess that my other color is the Diamine Rider's Blood and the Vinta Laguna. I have purchased a bottle of the Rider's Blood. I love how Mike does this. This is from Van S. Pens. He always does a little thing like that. I'm sure that gets tedious, but I appreciate the effort on doing personal touches to a business, which just makes you want to support a home business. About the 30 milliliter bottle. So it's not real big. I, I was tempted to get the really big one because I like the big glass ones, but I do have plenty of inks, so I decided to buy this. I had ordered a vial, a sample vial of it, and abs absolutely have loved it. Uh, a couple different YouTubers were talking about it, so I decided I'd give it a whirl, and I've been super happy with it. Plus, I think it's just kind of a cool name. Um, so let me explain where I'm coming from with these next two. They're both in Twisby Ecos. They're both broad nibs, and I had not, I had hesitated on buying the Diamine Writer's Blood because I thought it would be very similar to Vinta Laguna, which is another ink I have thoroughly enjoyed using. The property properties of it just um, are very delightful. It's wet, it's flowy, it just comes out super saturated. So I hesitated, but then when I compared 
kind of how they looked on paper, I decided to go ahead and purchase the bottle. So if you'll notice, the Rider's Blood has a gold sheen to it. Um, not, is it sheen? Yeah, sheen. It looks really dark on this Cosmo Air. On other papers, it doesn't look as dark, but I have seen some reviews where people think it almost looks like, um, like a black cherry color. And I think that's a good description of it. Sometimes it looks very dark. I've experienced that mostly on the Cosmo Air. And um, it, it has a little bit of sheen, like I said, but it looks quite dark here. I think like you think of cherry cola or something, if you could turn that into an ink, that's what this reminds me of. And then the Vinta Laguna, you can see, has more red to it. Previously, I wrote with the Vinta Laguna in my primary macchiato narwhal. So you can see the more reddish, or they called it like a brick red. That seems like a fairly good description, although I feel like it's just a little more red, almost like a cherry. So we're talking about fruits here. <laughs> we have a uh, black cherry, now we just have cherry, but let's see if it does it again. I'm it just gushes down. But see how it's just separating away from that? I don't know if you can see this, but it's just dried real quick. And then it just went over to being like more saturated and taking its time drying. It's really weird, but it's really nice. I, I enjoy this ink so much. I guess I'm not a huge fan, fun, yeah, it's kind of funny, uh, of like red inks. But I like how these write so well. And they're uh, just a nice, clear, easy to read color. It, it doesn't hurt your eyes. That sounds kind of funny to say, but you know, like some are just so bright or some are kind of a neonish color and I get tired of looking in that. This is easy on the eyes, both of them, but you can see they are different enough, especially as they dry. I mean, it really does almost look black. So let me, um, let's just do a comparison, maybe side by side. I didn't label which pens I used, so I have to think here. Here's the Diamine Writer's Blood. This is on my Traveler's Notebook paper. So here's the Diamine, the Writer's Blood, and here's the Vinta Laguna. They are more similar looking here. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, writer's blood. Here it goes on almost looking brown. And it might be kind of gross, but I think of like when blood dries on something, it, it looks brown. And even sitting in here, it's in my pen, in the barrel, it has a brownish look. But it varies according to paper. Let's try the Vinta Laguna. I'm just doing a little swatching with my pen so I don't get totally drenched with ink. But it kind of did the same thing here, where it dried off to the side and then stayed wet longer where I finished up. But you can see, similar, quite similar, but still this has a more reddish, and then here it's really, to me, looking closer to brown or like a dark red-black. That's how I've also seen it uh, read about it being described as a, some people say it's almost like it's black. Some say it's like black with red or red with black. I think that's, that's really a good description of it on this paper. And that's all I have in that notebook. And then here again, freshly done, the Writer's Blood and the Vinta Laguna. This is um, Timoya River paper. It almost seems to me like the difference is the least pronounced between the two here. But again, just a little more purplish or blue undertone. And that's just almost looking more brown, very, very dark on the Tamoy River. And you can see the Lamy, the Lamy tourmaline there. And then I just did it. Did I just show this? I did. So that, that's all I have. As far as inks go, Writer's Blood is the new one. And I inked these up. 
just so I could write with them during the next week or so and compare them even more. It's one thing to do a little swatching, but when you write with it for a while, you really get a flavor of the inks. I have loved the Venta Laguna, and I have absolutely loved the Writer's Blood, so having two that are so similar will be kind of a fun little challenge for me to try to distinguish any further differences. And then writing in this beautiful pen with the tune nib will be fun. I think this is a great color match, so. That is all for now. I will see you again soon and take care.